Professional wrestling is everything. It's an absolute variety show. Entertainment fun. It's, a, it's an art form. It's a very unique blend of taking what's real, something that you wouldn't be able to experience in everyday life. It's more than just getting in a ring and doing some stuff. It's making people believe that the unimaginable is possible. It's like a real life movie of the Power Rangers, but something that people can actually experience and be a part of. Professional wrestling is storytelling. It's like a live action movie. Just want to be entertaining. You know, I, want, I want people to forget and just enjoy. Professional wrestling is wrestling. My name is Big Fudge. I am a professional wrestler. I enjoy eating chocolate and going to the gym and punching people in the butt. I hail from the chocolate factory. Oh. Hello, sir. How can I help you? But in reality, underneath all of this, I'm just a normal, average guy. I study primary education at university. Um, I was a bartender for many years before I decided to quit last year solely so I could pursue professional wrestling because I was finding it difficult dividing myself amongst all these different things with university and wrestling and work. So now I don't make as much money because the wrestling industry in this country is still growing. But I get to have a lot more fun and I get to keep my sanity as well, so. Um, so my name's Cameron, um, aka Johnny Star. Um, and I'm, prof I'm a professional wrestler for All Star Wrestling Australia. Um, I also work some other feds, but they my ma that's my major federation uh, that I work. Um, I do have another job on the side. I'm actually a police officer. So I've been wrestling for about 20 years or more. I'm 36 now. I started when I was 16. Um, I took about a 10 year break off, I got injured um, when I was younger and I had to look at uh, other things in my life like a career and job wise and stuff like that. Um, I recently only just got back into it in 2017, uh, a good friend of mine brought me back in. I have often prioritised wrestling and it's cost me a lot of different opportunities in my life, it's cost me a lot of different um, relationships and different things in my life. Ended relationships for pro wrestling. I dropped out of university originally for pro wrestling. I've quit jobs for pro wrestling. In the wrestling industry, you kind of feel obliged once you've taken a booking and committed to the show that you, you see that through. It's just time away from family. Come show day, you're here all day, here all night, um, packing up the ring, loading the ring, and then you wrestle, and then the next day you come home and you might be pretty banged up, pretty tired and you haven't seen your family and they want to spend some time with you and all you want to do is rest. Um, that's the hardest thing. It's all, it's all weekend based, so the weekends you get free. Normally you want to spend with your family, but you, you're in love with this thing you do. Um, I probably have grown closer to a lot of my family, but also more distant at the same time. I see them way less, even though they only live 10, 15 minutes away from me. We're doing things human beings were not supposed to do, ever. Um, and we're continually pushing the boundaries. People's careers end, people's lives end because of wrestling. And sometimes when you get hurt, there's no coming back. You really never know when you walk into a match, if you're gonna have another match, to be honest. You never know how many bumps, how many falls you're gonna take. I got slapped. <laughs> Um, by my partner for losing the match and it ruptured my eardrum and to this day it's still not 100% I can't do certain activities. I was angry because I wasn't upset, I was more angry about how it happened. I was more like, oh, I'm never going back to that company again, they're unprofessional, they didn't even pay me, now I'm, now I'm gonna have to fork out all the medical bills and then I just hated everything to do with wrestling and I, and I actually stopped watching, I stopped engaging in it for nearly 10 years. Um, so it's funny, like, like I said, more so rather being upset, I was angry because I, and I was just bitter um, about how it happened, not that it happened. I've been knocked unconscious, uh, fra not fractured, but split open my nose and uh, almost fractured my orbital bone all in one hit. And it was real scary because I woke up on the side of the ring questioning where I was and all I could remember hearing is the referee say the match is over, the match is over. Uh, he clocked me to my jaw and, and split my jaw and cracked two teeth at the back of my mouth, so that was interesting. 
I personally have experienced multiple concussions and I don't feel as sharp as I used to be when I first started wrestling. I'm still growing older and I'm still kind of learning how, it's, how these concussions have affected me, but I definitely feel like when I first entered professional wrestling, I felt a lot sharper, I felt a lot wittier, which is, you know, would have been useful seeing how I'm a comedic wrestler and I try to entertain people. But now, sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit more forgetful. Um, sometimes I feel like it's a little bit more difficult for me to connect the dots in certain situations. Um, and especially it's at its worst if I've recently been concussed. And I feel like when you're recently concussed, it's like waking up from a really bad hangover and being hungover for like a week. And it just rattles your brain and shocks your world. Um, I, I, I probably, I, and very irresponsibly, I've never had myself looked at. I've never seen the extent of these injuries on my brain because I kind of don't want to know. I don't want to be in that situation where a doctor is going to tell me, hey, you're not going to wrestle again because wrestling is all I have. Wrestling is my favorite thing to do in the entire world. So I am not alone in being irresponsible like this. I've seen lots of wrestlers who kind of turn a blind eye to being hurt and try to push through it. Um, I don't think the concussions I've experienced so far have been career ending, but I definitely think they've taken a toll. And I think um, if I have any more, they're just going to keep uh, making my impending expiration date draw sooner rather than later. It's, it just purely comes down to two words, love and passion. Um, I do this because I'm passionate, um, regardless of the time away from family and, and the money. And I don't even think of those things. Like I think, yeah, I think about stuff for my family because I, I love them so much, they're my life. But when I'm in the wrestling ring, it's a different, I can't explain it. It's like you're a different person and you're invincible or you're, nothing else matters. And I, re I really believe it's, something that I can do well um, I, and I said I'm passionate I love it and I've loved it since I was six years old um, and the camaraderie you build as well is very important you build a lot of good friendships uh, backstage with people you meet all sorts of different people from different walks of lives so that's what it's about it's just like a it's almost you could almost say it's just a social hobby you know that of a 36 year old man to dress in spandex and run around with other men in a wrestling ring but I'm passionate and I just love it so much. I think people started to realise, hey, this is something that he's extremely passionate about and it's almost consuming him. My wife even tells me that at times. And she even jokingly says that she comes second and wrestling comes first. But now that we're at this point where I can support her and my family and myself with my passion, which is professional wrestling, she's understood that I never put one thing above the other. It was just. Wrestling was all I could remember from the young age and I wanted it. I wanted to be at that top level. I wanted to do nothing else but wrestle. When you're in that situation, when you walk out onto a stage and you're inside that ring and you feel the energy of the crowd and you feel that connection, nothing in the world compares to it. It's the most amazing feeling in the entire world. I wouldn't trade it for anything.